Hello Super Set Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. The Mr. Olympia is the biggest and most prestigious bodybuilding show in the world. It was created by Joe Weider and it's held once a year since 1965. In the 50 plus years of history of the event, the sport have been evolving constantly as well as the athletes due to the increased knowledge in nutrition, drugs and technology over the years. Bodybuilders started to become bigger and bigger until a certain point where bigger did not necessarily mean better anymore, at least for some people. Well, this is a matter of taste after all and probably this is the reason why today we have all these different uh, divisions like uh, classic bodybuilding or the men's physique. We probably needed a division for every taste out there and the main division uh, remains what is called today the men's open where bodybuilders get as big as they can basically and uh, for a lot of time this was the main rule in this division the athletes sacrificing everything to get as big as possible starting with aesthetics proportions conditioning and especially their health but uh, this is a subject for another video i guess the thing is that around the end of the 90s and beginning of the 2000s bodybuilders started to become bigger and bigger and at the same time they started to look less and less appealing to the mainstream public. One of the main reasons for that was the distended midsection phenomena that started to become a trend. Judges were ignoring it, bodybuilders presenting a distended stomach did not get penalized so it rapidly became a normal thing on a bodybuilding stage, unfortunately. It all culminated with the rise of social media when people's voices could be heard and after years of backlash, in 2018, the IFBB and the judges finally made a statement about it when they awarded Sean Roden the Olympia title against Phil Heath. Phil Heath, who was arguably the better and more complete bodybuilder, but presented a distended stomach or a bubble gut known in bodybuilding circles. I personally believe this was a wise decision by the judges that actually came too late. Bodybuilding should not be only about how big and conditioned you can get, it should be about how big and conditioned you can get while looking healthy and appealing. That's my opinion. And for those of you who believe that the bubble gut is the price we have to pay to see the true potential of a bodybuilder in terms of uh, muscle mass, I say you're completely wrong. Big Rami and Jay Cutler are two of the biggest bodybuilders in history and they never had a stomach distension issue, so it's possible. And don't confuse a wide midsection to a bubble gut. These are two completely different things. In this video I want to show you guys how the Mr. Olympia winning records would have looked like if the bubble gut was a direct disqualifier. Everybody loves the statistics and the rankings. We as bodybuilding fans here on Super Setman should already know who are the record holders, who won the most and so on. But let me briefly remind you how these statistics look like. Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman hold the record for most Mr. Olympia wins, both with 8. Arnold and Phil Heath, both with uh, 7 wins, are on the second place. Dorian Yates has uh, 6 titles under his belt, Jay Cutler 4. Sergio Oliva and Frank Zane both have 3. Larry Scott and Franco Colombo have uh, 2 wins. And we also have the one-time winners, Chris Dickerson, Samir Banu, Dexter Jackson, Sean Roden, Brandon Curry and Big Rami. What I will be doing in this video is take it from the last Olympia show in 2020 and go backwards and for each edition I will decide if the winner keeps their title or drops it to the best placing that did not present a distended midsection. So without further ado let's start the process. Mr. Olympia 2020 Big Rami did not have a stomach issue so he keeps his title. Mr. Olympia 2019 Brandon Curry did not have this issue so he as well keeps his title. Sean Roden in 2018 obviously keeps the win as the judges have done exactly what we're doing in this video today in my opinion. Mr. Olympia 2017 Phil Heath loses the title to the second place finisher Big Rami. Phil's midsection looked probably the worst in his entire career at this show. Big Rami becomes a two-time champion. 
Miss Olympia 2016 is debatable. Phil won it, he did not look as bad as in 2017, but for the subject of our video, it's still not acceptable, so the second place finisher that year, Sean Roden, gets crowned as the 2016 Mr. Olympia. In 2015, Phil's midsection was on point, so he keeps the title. However, in 2014, Phil presented the bubble gut issue for the first time, so he gets stripped from that title. The interesting thing is that the second place finisher Kai Green suffered from a similar issue, not as bad as Phil, but still bad though, so the third place finisher that year, Sean Roden, is gonna get the win. Sean Roden just became a three-time Olympia winner. 2013, 2012 and 2011 are Phil Heath's best years, nobody in the history of bodybuilding could defeat those versions of his, aside from prime Ronnie Coleman maybe. 2010 and 2009 is Jay Cutler, Jay never had a bubble gut, so he holds the titles. Same for 08 Dexter Jackson. 2007 is a funny one, as it's probably one of the most controversial Olympias of all time. People feel like uh, Victor Martinez was robbed because Jay was too soft that year, but the subject of our video is the bubble gut, so Jay keeps his 2007 title as well as his 2006 one. 2005 was Ronnie Coleman's 8th and the last Olympia win and believe it or not, his midsection was ok that year. After the criticism he received in 04, he managed to fix it. 05 Ronnie keeps the title but 04 gets disqualified. I believe this was even worse than 2017 Phil Heath. And we get to 03 Ronnie Coleman, my favorite version of his and probably the freakiest version of any bodybuilder ever. But truth being told, Ronnie had a distended midsection that year. So Jay gets the title in 03. 02 Ronnie was downsized and bloated, so he loses the title. Kevin didn't deserve second that year in my opinion, but he did not have a bubble gut, so we have to respect the rules we established. So Kevin Levroni becomes the 2002 Mr. Olympia. Jay Cutler beats Ronnie Coleman in 01, who had a similar gut as in 04 that year if you ask me. 2000 Mr. Olympia Ronnie Coleman looked better than in 02 or 01, but still presented a distended midsection, so Kevin becomes a two-time Olympian. 1999 and 1998 Ronnie Coleman are the versions I was telling you that would defeat 2011-2013 Phil Heath. Ronnie keeps these uh, wins. 1997 Dorian Yates, aside from the biceps and triceps issues, also presented a stomach distension, so Nasser becomes Mr. Olympia. 1996 and 1995 Dorian was okay, he keeps the titles, however 1994 is a difficult one. Dorian did not have a bubble gut, but he was clearly bloated. His stomach was not appealing, so Sean Ray becomes the 1994 Mr. Olympia. I think we should stop the process here, as I don't believe any of the remaining Mr. Olympia winners presented a distended stomach. Honestly, none of the participants in any of the remaining shows uh, presented a similar issue, so we can draw the line here and see how the Mr. Olympia records would have looked like. Lee Haney tops the ranking alone this time, remaining with 8 Mr. Olympia wins. In second place we have Arnold and Jay Cutler both with 7 wins, so Jay Cutler won 3 more titles in the process. In third place we have Phil Heath and Dorian Yates with 4 wins each. Ronnie Coleman lands in the fourth place with only 3 remaining Mr. Olympia titles. Tying for the record with Sergio, Frank Zane and Sean Roden who won uh, two extra titles in the process. Larry Scott and Franco remain with two wins, tied with Big Romy who won one extra and Kevin Levroni who won two Mr. Olympia titles, our first uncrowned Mr. Olympia who finally gets the crown. Chris Dickerson, Samir Banu, Dexter Jackson and Brandon Curry remain with one win each. And we have uh, two more one-time winners, two new Olympians in uh, Nasser El Sambari and Sean Ray. 
So as we can see here we have Phil Heath, Dorian Yates and uh, Ronnie Coleman with the red backgrounds. Them being the only ones that lost some of their titles because of a distended stomach issue. Of course, there are not, they are not the only bodybuilders in history that suffered from the issue, but they seem to be the only ones that were crowned Mr. Olympia champions while having a stomach distension. It's funny because they are probably the most impressive bodybuilders of all time in terms of uh, physique, or at least they are regarded so by most fans, so I guess in order to be the best you need to have a bubble gut, man. I'm gonna leave you guys draw the conclusions in the comment section, I'm really curious what you guys think about this subject. Also like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and as always, thank you guys and see you next time.